Hey everybody, this is Gregory from DAP University. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you how a decentralized exchange works, a decentralized cryptocurrency exchange. Um, and that's different from like a centralized exchange like Coinbase, I actually just released a video that talks about, you know, how traditional cryptocurrency exchanges work or centralized exchanges or custodial exchanges. So check out that previous video if you haven't already. And be sure to subscribe to this channel and click the thumbs up button down below. That really helps these videos get found so that more people can learn how to build blockchain technology. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about uh, decentralized exchanges or, you know, uh, cryptocurrency exchanges that make trades on the blockchains themselves. Um, and I'm going to be drilling down to like decentralized exchanges on Ethereum right now and kind of explain how they work and how they're different from other, you know, traditional uh, cryptocurrency exchanges like Coinbase or Binance or something like that. So the main difference between, uh, well, two, I guess two main differences and this kind of, um, it's really the same difference, but I'll just explain what I mean. So the the big differentiator for like uh, a decentralized exchange is that you're trading crypto for crypto on the same blockchain, which means a couple of things. One, you know, right now, you know, most of these exchanges, I mean, they're, they're, they're not trading fiat currency for crypto. Like you can't really exchange US dollar for uh you know ether or something like that on a decentralized exchange like this so um you kind of have to already be in the crypto ecosystem in order to you know participate in something like this and that's really who is using you know decentralized exchanges right now um are you know crypto users blockchain users already and so um, an Ethereum-based decentralized exchange, what it does is it allows you to trade ERC-20 tokens for other ERC-20 tokens. Um, so if you don't know what an ERC-20 token is, basically it's, um, you know, Ethereum allows you to build your own token with a smart contract on top of the Ethereum platform itself without having to create a new blockchain. So basically it's a way of creating a cryptocurrency without creating a new blockchain. Basically you create a token that's you know uh, managed by smart contracts that uh, is deployed and run on the Ethereum blockchain. So there's a lot of famous you know, ERC-20 tokens out there like 0x, uh, OMG, lots of others. You know, Binance token I'm pretty sure is an ERC-20 token. Um, so there's lots of them. And that's what decentralized exchanges on Ethereum allow you to do. They allow you to, allow you to trade these tokens for one another and also Ether in some cases with a special kind of method. And so let me tell you why that's different from a cryptocurrency exchange and kind of the advantage. So in the last video, I talked about how, you know, the, the ease of using a traditional cryptocurrency exchange is you don't have to like manage anything. Like the exchange just does it all for you. You don't have to manage your private keys. You don't have to manage your accounts. You don't have to keep up with anything. All you have to do is like log on to a website and buy crypto and keep it there or send it there and sell it for cash. Uh, they kind of manage everything in the middle. Um, but that's different from a DEX or a decentralized exchange where you have to manage the funds yourself. Um, but here's the benefit. You know, in the last video, I talked about some famous cryptocurrency exchange hacks where, you know, funds were left on exchanges and the exchanges were exposed to the security vulnerabilities and they were hacked and the funds were stolen. Um, and that paved the way for a real legitimate blockchain technology use case, which is a cryptocurrency exchange that actually runs on the blockchain. You know, it's blockchain based assets that can swap that can be swapped with other blockchain technology. And that's a great way to get people using the tech, using the ecosystem to support this use case. So how does it do that? You know, an exchange like this, what it allows you to do is trade Ethereum-based tokens from one wallet or one account with another wallet or an account. Um, and the funds never leave your wallet until the trade actually happens. 
So if I'm a maker and I submit an order and a taker takes the order, the exchange uh, is just powered by smart contracts and it basically does the swap of tokens for you in the background and it never holds on to them in the middle. So you don't have the vulnerability of that smart contract being hacked and your funds like siphoned out. So that's the huge benefit. Now I'll explain a little more kind of how that works uh, with an exchange like this. But that's the basic trade-off and the uh, basic benefit. And yeah, so let me kind of walk you through how that works. So if I was going to use an exchange like this, um, I would have to already have some crypto funds. I would have to have basically some Ether uh, or some uh, Ethereum tokens, like ERC-20 tokens. And I would have to use, you know, a, a browser extension like MetaMask to manage my uh, crypto funds. Or I could probably use like a hardware wallet like Trezor or Ledger. I think Ledger in this case on this exchange. Um, and I would plug that in my computer and they would have the funds on it that would manage, you know, my private keys locally. That would never leave my device. Um, and I could trade um, tokens straight from that wallet to another person's wallet. And, you know, basically I would, you know, fill out my order here um, and I would submit it. And, you know, a taker would take that order. So that's kind of a high level overview and kind of things you would need. So you would need to bring your own wallet to an exchange. You need to connect it with the exchange. So it would have to be aware of your wallet. And then it would you know, basically take your orders. So I'll go a little deeper and explain how that works on a technical level. So this DEX right here, I know for a fact, uses the 0x protocol, which you might be familiar with. Um, so 0x is basically a project that has their own Ethereum-based token, their own ERC-20 token. Um, that is a protocol for creating decentralized exchanges. And what it does is it speeds up, it, it, it is a protocol that is for taking orders, you know, maker and taker orders, buy, sell orders that you see on an exchange. Um, and it puts those like on a server. So that part isn't necessarily decentralized. This thing is called a relayer and it just relays orders. And what that does that thing needs to be fast because there, you know, there is a transaction limitation uh, on the Ethereum blockchain right now um, that doesn't make it fast enough to just like, you know, uh, create orders and fulfill them really fast, right? You need a server for that, but your orders are secure. Like your funds never go to that server. It's just your intent. Your intent is just registered on the server. And then whenever the, whenever someone takes your order, that you've made, uh, what the server does, or what the relayer does, is basically talks to a set of smart contracts on the blockchain that take your funds and they perform what's called an atomic swap, which basically in one fell swoop takes the funds from one RC, ERC-20 token to another ERC-20 token and transfers the balances like instantly. And the funds don't leave your device, they don't leave your account until they literally end up in the next person's wallet or the next person's device and vice versa. So basically you do have some centralization, some centralized features or something like a 0x relayer, um, but they don't expose you to the same kind of vulnerabilities that you know, traditional cryptocurrency exchange, a centralized exchange, a uh, custodial exchange does. Um, and really the centralized features of the relayer are a value add in this case. They allow you to make orders faster, supports higher volume trading, things like that. So um, the last thing I'll mention about how these things work is sometimes you'll see something called uh, WETH or WETH or it's W-E-T-H. You'll see this actually trading pair up here, W-E-T-H. That's what's called wrapped Ether. So basically, you know, Ether or Ethereum is the native cryptocurrency on the Ethereum blockchain. And, you know, in order to trade that for other ERC-20 tokens or something like a 0x relayer, um, the Ether itself needs to know how to act like an ERC-20 token. 
and it doesn't do that natively. You know, Ethereum is a mineable cryptocurrency on, um, you know, the uh, 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 proof of work blockchain, right? That's how it works. It's a mineable cryptocurrency. But basically, to turn Ether into a token, you have to wrap it in a smart contract that has a one-to-one -one relationship between your Ether balance and the, uh, you know, WETH or WETH token balance. So it basically allows you to just have Ether that can be traded like an ERC-20 token, like an Ethereum token. And it gives you an extra trading pair so that, you know, if you come to a decentralized exchange, you don't have to really come with ERC-20 tokens already. You could just buy Ether with cash for fi with fiat currency on you know, like a centralized exchange, buy into the cryptocurrency ecosystem, and then hit a centralized exchange with Ether, and then, you know, buy uh, some WETH, basically convert it to WETH, and you can start trading tokens that way, and you can keep that in your wallet. So, I um, hope you all found that helpful. Um, feel free to leave a comment down below if there's something else that you wanted to know about regarding this topic. Um, and also be sure to subscribe to this channel and click the thumbs up button down below. That really helps these videos get found so that more people can learn how to build blockchain technology. So I'm going to go ahead and sign off for today. But until next time, thanks for watching DAP University.